I'm David Baguma, an East African from Uganda. Agriculture is the backbone of Uganda's economy. It employs about 72% of the total labor force, formal and informal, 77% of whom are women and 75.7% are youth below 30 years, as per the National Population Housing Census 2014 report. Agricultural sector has contributed an average of 25.1% of the country's GDP for the last 10 years as per the World Bank 2018 report. Smallholder subsistence farmers who use low inputs in subsistence farming dominate Uganda's agricultural sector, producing an estimated 70% of the marketed produce. Compounding that situation is Uganda's population rate of 3.34%, one of the highest in the world, according to 2020 CIA fact book. The main barriers which hinder smallholder farmers' agricultural development in Uganda are the gaps between the three main drivers of agricultural production and development, that is, the farmers' practices, extension services, and the agro-input services. The country's extension service ratio to farmers stands at 1 to 1,800 as per March 2019 by Maiv, which is almost four times above the recommended 1 to 500. This limits the extension of the required services, which leads to low dissemination of technologies that may lead to agricultural sector development. East-West Seed Knowledge Transfer and Vahenhen University, with funding from the Embassy of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands and a Nutrition and Income Generation Intervention Project, are implementing knowledge transfer activities, offering setting up demonstration sites and intense vegetable production training on climate smart farming technologies. This has raised the farmers' awareness on the advanced vegetable production technologies and their consumption health benefits, hence increasing household nutrition awareness and income. On the demo set, in the areas of operation, five compulsory practical trainings are always conducted, beginning with seedling production technologies, even with better seeds, we believe that once the farmers do not have the required knowledge on how to raise seedlings, most of the seeds and seedlings will end up being wasted, which will in turn affect production since good crop yield production starts with healthy seedlings. On this, we promote simple and affordable seedling production technologies in disparity to our traditional ground nursery practice. This serves the farmer's cost of production on seeds as the seed loss is reduced. Soil and water conservation. Majority of African small-scale farmers are engaged in one-season production, which creates scarcity and increased demand of vegetables during the dry season. To enable farmers to exploit this opportunity and maintain production, farmers are trained on different soil and water conservation techniques to make better use of scarce water for production during the dry spell. Fertilization. Poor farming practices has led to soil degradation. Through our trainings, we train farmers on different practices used to maintain soil fertility and healthy use of inorganic fertilizers, which have helped farmers understand soil nutrition and enhance productivity. Crop protection. As one of our strategies to conserve the environment, we always take lead in training the farmers on environmentally friendly pest control measures under integrated pest management, which employs more of the preventive techniques and reduce the use of chemicals. This approach also reduces the cost of production to the farmers, hence increased profit margin. Safe use of agrochemicals. Right use of the agro-input chemicals is good since it increases production and controls different harmful pests, but once misused, it is destructive to the environment and poisonous to human health and other beneficial living organisms. It's during this topic that farmers are trained on how, when, and what to apply in case of any field challenge. Also, awareness creation on the health hazard of different agrochemicals is raised to ensure that the farmers follow the manufacturer's guidelines for the safety of the environment, consumers, and their own health. Farmers' field days. To sum up the crop cycle on the demo gardens, farmer field days are always conducted 
This is the main platform which summarizes all the activities and technologies showcased and also gives an opportunity to farmers to interact and share different ideas on the success and challenges they face to motivate each other and devise possible solutions to the challenges they face.